I'm back, uh, willing and ready to give you an update as to what is going on and what has happened since the last time we've talked. Well, of course, um, I was in court on February 28th as my trial was to start on March the 3rd. Well, as opposed to getting the trial underway and started, I was presented a piece of paper by the district attorney saying that if I agreed to cooperate, uh, that they would dismiss the charges upon uh, the conclusion of Mike, Alderman Mike McGee's case. Well, I found that pretty damn strange to believe since in my mind I had been cooperating the whole damn time. Uh, and in my mind, cooperating does not mean lying on an individual or making up stories on an individual so the prosecution's case can look better. Um, telling the truth to me simply means, or cooperating simply means, I'm going to tell you the goddamn truth. Uh, in terms of what my participation was, uh, in terms of what I did, again, all I did was pass out some damn flyers and send the people to a young man by the name of Garrett to take to City Hall to vote. Now apparently somehow in this interim, uh, I was not there, so I'm only going by uh, the statements from the district attorney uh, and the undercover officers, William Brantley and another sellout brother who claimed that I uh, actually that I sent them to the ride and the ride actually on the way to City Hall paid them money to vote again I have no knowledge of that simply because I didn't ride with nobody down to City Hall or to the court or to anything of that nature so, of course, I knew my man was a little disappointed when he saw me uh, not taking a stand or not be uh, going to be asked to take the stand. And we were both tried together. And eventually, he did get tried. And his tri trial started on March the 3rd. And he was ultimately convicted looking at 10 years of prison. Now, we're talking about a man 59 years old who was uh, college educated uh, and army veteran and now he's in a position where he may spend um, the next 10 years of his life behind bars. This is something that is very disturbing to me um, more on, on more than one level. The first level being the fact that these Illuminatis can just give people out time, you know, like they passing out food stamps or some shit, you know, um, to just give a man 10 years. Uh, have him in a situation where he's facing 10 years uh, to me is incredible uh, even if he did pay somebody five dollars to vote <clears throat> they can't leak it to the alderman he chose to give somebody five dollars to vote or whatever the situation is uh, I just don't think that the punishment uh, is appropriate for the crime However, uh, I'm not out of the woods yet. Again, I was not called to testify at my brother's trial. What I was called to do was to, what I was told to do was just, just stay on alert. What does that mean? That means if we need you, we'll call you. Um, and by them <clears throat> coming up with a guilty plea in the person case that was charged with me but not even calling me to court to be a witness or to testify or to even 
talk about my involvement in relationship to him was a puzzlement to me. You know, lately I've been reading a lot of information and hearing a lot of information about these secret societies and Illuminati. And when I first heard these kind of terms and, uh, you know, this, I guess, uh, information, I was one who was very reluctant to uh, pay any attention to it, should I say. But now that I've been involved in this maze where I know I'm involved with a corrupt district attorney, I'm involved with a corrupt judge, in fact, I'm just looking at all these people who are involved uh, on a prosecution's, from a prosecutor's perspective, and they all look evil. I mean, you can see the demonic forces that just permeate their spirits while you're sitting there in the courtroom. Uh, I feel very fortunate so far to have been, um, so far to be untainted by all the devils that are surrounding me. But on the other hand, as I look at this, I know that more people need to get aware of the secret societies that permeate our world. I think that as long as we continue to fight on a lower level, like black, white, black, white, uh, which is basically falling into the New World Order's net, the more we continue to focus on those trivial matters. However, well, they may be large, but they're really trivial when you put them on the scale of the universe. When you put them on the scale of the universe where you really have uh, a set or a group out there who worships the devil, who by all intents and purposes flash devil worship signs, um, and who seem to revel in mind control of individuals. When you're dealing with an entity like that, then you know you're dealing with Satan himself. And you try to stay prayed up and hope that God will guide you in the right path. You have to seek refuge with Allah uh, from your enemies. And I think that I've learned more in the last month or so, or actually for the last almost a year, that these people will stop at nothing. They will trump up charges.